Harmony 1 leading the way on the bullish factor, okay? We're going to get to several different charts, several different things today, uh, showing where one needs to get to to remain uber bullish as it has been the past several days now. So all that and more in today's video. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Telegram, 100% free Telegram, link below, almost 700 people growing in there. If you want more content than what you see there or what on YouTube, that's what we have Patreon for. You get access to a private Telegram, help you more, navigate the markets, tell you what I'm doing personally. There it is. Harmony One on the five day. What do we got? I'm glad you asked. Well, we came down after our peak in late October. Remember that? I do. Harmony One was leading the way then, and it looks to be trying to do it again now. We came back down, hit the very top of the Gaussian channel, avoided it. We remembered how much we didn't like it back in July, and then we got right back out of it, remained bullish, and now look at the past five days. We're up almost 40%. This is a five-day Gaussian channel, almost four days, really, right? Because we still have a day and seven hours till this closes. Impressive, to say the least. This could be the highest closing five-day five day candle of all time. What do we need to do that? Well, we just need to close above this candle, this candle right there. That closed at 31 cents. So we will see on the five-day Gaussian channel if we can do that, pull some distance away from this thing. You do not want to be in it. And Harmony One is ahead of most coins. So yeah, the higher you are from the Gaussian channel, the more bullish you are, plain and simple. No stampsies, no reverses. Okay. Next, what do we have to look at? The weekly momentum of Harmony One. Look at it. I mean, we this is exactly what you want to see. A nice bounce, a quick bounce out from the downside and back towards the upside. This is why we're moving. Weekly momentum, very bigly. Swimming upstream is what you want to do. Follow the current, right? You don't want the current turning against you. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult to make those big moves. However, Harmony One has the momentum on its side. That's the weekly. How about the daily? Look at the daily. The daily is even way up here. So momentum should continue. Prices should continue. Watch this. We want this to happen. We right? want it to stay up here as long as possible. If it stays up here, we're good. If it crosses back in this purple box, could be some rough waters. Okay, so that's Harmony One on the momentum. How about more? More, more, more. Okay, what do we got? This is the daily chart. So Harmony One, look at this. Look at the 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 movements here. This is these are very bigly. Look at the past several days here, massive upside. So step one, let's clear this hurdle right here. Uh, this candle closed at thirty. We'll say thirty three cents. We close above thirty three. It'll be great, right? Right now it's resistance, right? You can see the wick right up to it. Hopefully we don't get rejected here. If we do, we come back down. We just want to hold support, kind of right on this one. So you can see where I'm getting this here, right? Right there. So hold there and then go back up and bust through it. If we break through this level, just look left. And then we have our all-time highs, set on our all-time highs right there. So if we can break above this, 35 cents, one could be back in, you know, price discovery very quickly, take out these wicks and then, you know, 40 cents and beyond. Okay, that's the daily chart. The weekly chart looks even better. That's what you want. You want your chart to look better the more you zoom out. So this is the weekly. I mean, look at the moves, basically uh, up and up forever. Uh, you have a healthy pullbacks and then continue the move. V-shaped recovery, nice. Look, mini V-shaped recovery, nice. Okay, now look zoomed in. Look at this. You don't have to do much here, right? This is this candle right here. We closed above this. Uh, yeah, weekly momentum should pick up. So the close on this is around 31 cents. So this week in five days, seven hours, if you see one closing above 31 cents, five days, seven hours, uh, all-time high weekly closing candle usually spells good things to come, okay? So last time we did that, we were right in here, right in this area, right? We came out, we broke out of it, and even though we had a minor pullback, we eventually broke right through it a couple weeks later, and nice rally to the upside. I would expect something very similar, again, if Harmony One closes this week above 31 cents. All right, what else? Anything else? The Heikinashi, right? The Heikinashi candles tells you the kind of the uh, momentum of it, uh, the, the average. So it kind of helps you find trends, see the downtrend. And then, you know, once they start getting a couple to the green side, after several to the red side, then you you, you can bank on 
usually more to the upside. And what we have, we only just started this, hopefully, and we have more of this to come. Okay, so that's the weekly. How about the daily? How does the daily look? So there you go. Uptrend, leg one, healthy pullback. Hopefully another leg up. And then we can continue to break through these and then uh, take out our all-time high and the rest will be history for one. So looking very good. Hopefully one leads us to, uh, you know, leads the party to salvation here for crypto. A lot of coins are trying to get it going. One is taking the torch and trying to lead the way. So light the way for us, one. All right. Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we're still in extreme fear. We're at the bottom, okay? So a lot of people that are, you know, human psychology, everyone's afraid that we're going to keep going lower. Time and time again, when we're down here, doesn't mean the actual bottom is in, but usually it's roughly close, okay? Not financial advice, but I think we're about to go up in a very bigly way over the next several weeks, okay? So quarter of the day, it's a funny one. Doing my other videos. If you don't get it, I'm sorry. It's it's funny if you got it. So Phil Collins, you may not know who Phil Collins is, but it's not this guy. And this guy didn't say this and neither did Phil Collins. So these are all three from different artists. Hilarious. It's for me. Ferrari 488. Uh, race car. Lego. Lego edition right there. Crushing all my actual nice cars. Uh, built that over Christmas. Built a Lamborghini last year. Lamborghini's right in front of me. Uh, and then the Ferrari. I just have it there. No one said anything. No one ever makes it this far in the videos. Or gives a crap about the cars. <laughs> so, alright. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you watch watched this long. Muchas gracias.